Hey folks, welcome to another custom lesson. This one has been requested by Jay Gamer, and hopefully you're liking the attire so far. I did my best. I couldn't unfortunately get the character code to work. For whatever reason, I'm guessing it's because you're on console and I am on PC. In any case, what's the theme this time? Dodge tank practice build with katana and tanfa. It doesn't really matter what weapons you choose. And then there's a bunch of considerations, so as opposed to just listing them all out, and talking about him on here, let's get on to what I worked with. So, Demon Horde Katana and Demon Horde Tanfa, I wanted to emphasize the sense of practicing to go for those grapples, so I deliberately chose Anima Bonus Grapples on these weapons. You don't need to, but it's nice to have. I really was trying to push forth the practice theme though. And that's going to segue now into the Soul Cores. So, I wanted to encourage you to swap between Guardian Spirits and take advantage of all sorts of benefits, but still have some ground to feel safe. So I'm going to refer to these Soul Cores and the Guardian Spirits kind of back and forth this time around. So first I picked Mizuchi, and it has a lot of defensive and offensive traits specifically for water-based play. So if you want to deal additional damage and take advantage of it, this is the Guardian Spirit pretty much for you. There also is increased defense on Amrita Absorption, which I'll get to soon enough. And you may notice there are no water-based cores here, which means there has to be one on the other Guardian Spirit ult. So you can see it right here, Maelstrom Oni B. Yeah, so you're going to use this on Feral, and then if you want to take advantage of the benefits, you're going to swap back to Mizuchi. So that's one reason for you to swap back and forth and get that practice really set in place. Uh, in addition, if you take a look at this core, you may wonder, is it the best in slot? Now, the answer to that is it's very subjective, but again, I really was trying to push forth elements that suggest dodge tank practice type stuff. So here's the tank aspects of it guard key consumption and then faster key recovery which can allow you to dodge more often provided you're playing defensively and then on top of that life recovery amrita absorption which is great and all this kind of comes together with the first soul core of shuten doji which gives you pocket buffs increased defense amrita absorption and then as a brief reminder you get the extraction and pleiades bonuses so you couple that with life recovery and amrita absorption it's awesome so if you need to regenerate stuff be more defensive oddly enough you might want to stick with all because you get an extra 30 life recovery whenever you use amrita pop shoot and doji you get a bunch of life back great and then if you're offensive you you want to be in that sort of mind frame use oni b swap right back to mizuchi to go destroy an opponent which is great and then of course you want a ton of life back because if you use extraction you've got magatsu warrior which is just going to generate so much amrita especially when you put extraction on a target when it comes to this Soul Core's rank, I'd advise boosting this up to 30 if you're putting it on Mizuchi simply because Anima Charge Bonus AA on a Brute is awesome. It's pretty redundant on Feral, but on Brute or Phantom it's great. Other than that, all I cared for was the Yokai Ability Key Pulse. This happened to have Anima, which isn't that important, but get whatever you want here. Let's get on to the other Soul Cores before I continue talking about how you kind of work with things back and forth. Now, Katana and Tanfa have many sorts of moves in which you'll find yourself at range, so I wanted you to take advantage of those moments, and Skeleton Warrior is a fast core to do that. I would also get this one up to rank 30. This Anima bonus and range weapon hit just makes this that much more efficient. Um, other stats are irrelevant, um, they just happen to be there, and this just happens to be Brute, but you don't really need these. Yokai ability key pulse is the only one I care for. And then we have range play. We've got Mogatsu Warrior, which is going to be the, your default power play. And then there's Kanaki Gigi. Wanted to help get a quick key damage source that emphasizes really paying attention to where you are in combat. So Kanaki Gigi does that. If you're at close range, it's awesome. And there are going to be many moments where you're at close range. And I'll showcase some combos soon enough for that. So already we have a big power play that can get you a ton of life back, do a ton of key damage. We've got a key damage source that does a great amount of break, can knock over targets, and we've got range elements on top of that. But we take that even further with Oni B, which is like your quick combo core of sorts, which can help you inflict saturate, if not confusion. And we've got Shooth and Doji, pocket buffs, and fire applications, so you have access to a lot. And then to kind of round out all the stuff, I gave you Karaoke, which can push enemies back on top of doing key damage. So there's already a lot of different things to consider 
as you're swapping in between your guardian spirits to take advantage of the full toolkit. So yeah, definitely a lot of practice potential with this, which is what I was exactly aiming for. But let's just showcase some combos. Hopefully I can do some justice to this overall setup just to give you a couple of ideas. So one of the first things that you'll probably do pretty frequently in combat is simply just use Shuf and Doji and you'll get a bunch of buffs. Look at that, three buffs right away. And then with my setup, I of course get even more buffs. So you don't really have to depend too much on Jutsu, which can be really nice. And that's just because of one soul core. All right, so you're gonna use this quite a lot because the buff duration does expire. I mean, look at this. This is beautiful, isn't it? Target back, kill him. There you go. Karaoke into Mountain Breaker is pretty nice. Now let's showcase some other things that you can do. Here we go. Just a few things there. Let's showcase some brute things against a human. You gotta pay attention to the range for Skeleton Warrior. You don't want to be too close. You can even have time for Magatsu Warrior. Um, let's go on to Aoki, just giving you a couple more things to work with, and then I'll just go to town in terms of giving you combo ideas. Because that's the whole point. And of course, Magatsu does a ton of damage per second, so feel free to use that as your default power play. But yeah, you gotta switch back and forth a lot. See what else I can do. Pretty neat. All right, let's go to town on a Yoki. Start showing case, showcasing Yokai Shift as well. There's, it's quite unique. How much you kind of have to pay attention. Oh God! Pay attention, like I was saying. Yeah, so much for that. Alright, come on. No, no, no! <laughs> Don't get grabbed again. I'm sorry. No. This this isn't... Okay, you know what? Bonk. That's my response. Fine, we're gonna do Brute. Provided the pillar doesn't do weird things. Alright, here we go. How do I start it up? Oh, you're dead. Fine. Super damage! Well, if he was still alive, I would have done GG. Okay, I guess. Oh, and how, how dead are you? Super dead. Alright, switch over to Feral. Feral's a little different. Feral, you gotta be like really in the thick of things. So you really kinda have to pay attention. So a lot of regular attacks. But as you can see, it can be pretty fast. Use Oni V towards like the end of a combo chain. Beautiful, right? Definitely a lot of aggressive action. Showcase both of these against a human. Oh! Isn't that merciless? Show it one more time. So yeah, this is definitely pretty fun. Only V with Feral can be pretty fun. Cause it's just like one, two, three, four to do a bunch of attacks and you can usually charge right off of that. I'll show it one more time. But 
That's pretty dirty, isn't it? You can layer in Kiryoki when you'd like. Alright, let's showcase Brute. I'm gonna try to pull something off with Brute. I'm gonna try to do it and then talk about it. Damn it, broke his key. Um, you can sometimes knock opponents into the air using uh, the brute attack and then like try to cancel some actions either using Skeleton Warrior or Mogatsu Warrior. I guess he doesn't want to cooperate. Alright, I'll try one more time. But if you have the good fortune of using a strong attack to knock him into the air, like so. Oh! There we go! It can be awesome. And then you can get some juggling in there. So definitely a lot to work with. Oddly enough, Brute's gonna be played almost at range and Feral's almost gonna be played at close range. So. It's, it's just something to, kind of cool to consider, I suppose. So, let's just showcase other things. Sweet! Alright, let's focus more on the weapons as opposed to using the cores, because I know in the dojo it kind of assumes like you have unlimited anima. Nice. And hop, bonk, switch, karaoke. Oh, isn't that dirty? It is super dirty. Alright, let's showcase a couple more things. Where, where are you going, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try elements of confusion is dirty. I like using the brute attack also in general. And then following that up with the soul core use. Flash attack is always a good moment to do a brute attack because you're not going to incur any Q loss. After having a flash doing a brute attack pretty good too. Come on. Fine. I guess I'll showcase it on a human. Just a couple more things and then I'll wrap this up. Okay, what you got? What you got? Uh, you, you got a lot apparently. No, no, no. Bad habit. But I know I like doing it after flash attack. And with Tompa's flash attack, which is like near instant. Feels extra good. Ah. Oh. Alright, one last time. Let's see what other cool things I can think of. I gotta be mindful of the skeleton warrior stuff. So yeah, you'll have to pay attention. But you don't have to worry so much when you got things like Shoot and Doji to just save you. Uh, man, this is gonna be quite addictive to lab all this for you. Ah! Close enough. All right. I think I've spent enough time here. Hopefully you've got some ideas and you can kind of see what's possible, but I'll showcase this soon enough. I will see you guys momentarily. Let's put this to the test. 
Notice, unlike other custom lessons, I didn't even bother using any Jutsu. You're gonna see my life total go down quite a bit. I'm at critical, but now watch all my health come back. This is awesome, look at that. Sweet, sweet extraction from Shuth and Doji. Life drain effects and life recovery effects. Yeah, that's nice. And when I pair this with elemental based effects that I can apply on Benkei, he doesn't stand a chance. Wow. All right, now he's, let's do some Fang Break, just cause, oh, combos for days. We got the warrior coming in there pretty nicely, doing a lot of damage. It's a great power play. And he's dead. Nice. So let's go fight Purple Yoshitsune. And unfortunately, I can't rely on any other elements right now except corruption. Or if I was using a purity weapon, then it would be purity. But yeah, can't rely on fire, can't rely on water. So I gotta really know how to work with the secondary benefits, if not, maybe you can say the primary benefits, of the Soul Course. So even though, for example, Skeleton Warrior can't do fire, it's still a ranged attack, it's still pretty good. The fire is just kind of extra. All right, let's see what I got here. Moving, dodging to the side. Got hit a little bit, but that's okay. Ooh, ooh, barely got away. I'm wondering when I'm gonna reapply Shuken Doji's effect because it would be nice to have it. I mean, I got defense, I have all sorts of other buffs on top of that, which can be really nice. But when it comes to your Shitsune's fight, bottom line, you kind of have to know what you're doing, whether that is playing the position game, whether that is just dodging appropriately, or knowing when to use the appropriate burst counter given your distance. So I guess it really is about the position game when it comes to him. So if you're closer to him, you can get away with, as you saw before, the boot counter for that specific burst attack. Of course, you can't get intimidated by your Shitsune's various crazy attacks, and um, if you know how to stay close to him, then you're in good shape. But this really does require a huge element of practice, and I can't really think of a better setup than this. But here we go. But yeah, I can also afford to make mistakes, which is great. Like I said, the pocket buffs is super helpful. And what's not to love? I've got many quick cancel options, which is certainly a lot of fun. And I'm doing a good amount of key damage, and just layering, layering in every potential combo I can think of. If this was, say, a normal Yoshitsune, I'm pretty sure he would have been dead by now. Um, a red Yoshitsune would probably be dead, probably about like halfway dead, but oh well. So yeah, can't get intimidated. I'm trying to show how other attacks don't work as well as say sword key. Kind of screwed that sword key up. I think I'm gonna succeed here though, yeah. Let's see, get a nice quick draw, go for a punish with Yokai Shift. I unfortunately am not able to take full advantage of Yokai Shift this time around, but it still does a good amount of damage. So yeah, Fang Break, woo! Here I was like, no, 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 I can't fang break in time. I went for Mogatsu Warrior. I was trying to fang break the projectiles, it just didn't work in my favor, so Yokai Shift ran out. I am unfortunately not able to play with Feral a bit later. I really wanted to, but it just wasn't in the cards this time. And then, whew, dodge that. You can usually just use things like Yatsumir to reflect it, but I specifically wanted to avoid doing that too often. I wanted to really emphasize how you work with all the various elements in play. And so you'll see me just constantly doing that, lots of flash attacks using Soul Course, when I can get away with it, and switching between different forms. Oh, oh, and countered, very nice. So I used Feral that time because I was a little at range. But I think the next time I do this, let's see what's going down. I think the next time I do it, I deal with it via Blue because I'm close, because I'm able to dodge it. Yeah, see, doesn't that feel just like extra awesome? Because it's awesome. So in any case, just trying to showcase the power of really understanding your weapon's toolkit. And on Yoshitsune, this is at a premium. All right, Mogatsu Warrior, quite the risk. But it panned out. And then here, check this out. Flowing Shadow, avoid many of the attacks. Seven spin, yes! And then Skeleton Warrior, cool little, cool little combo, right? Oh, just barely avoided that, man. That was super risky. And there you go. So I think Yoshitsune is a great enemy to practice a lot of these different elements against, whether it be um, using the appropriate burst counter, using certain soul cores, depending on the situation. See, like I use Skeleton Warrior because I saw Yoshitsune backdash, I didn't realize he was going to go on a perch, but oh well. Yeah, damage, damage. But yeah, he's getting close, and I'm sure you can see the remaining runtime, so I really got to know how I work with all these elements together. I really rely upon the Sword of Bunch. Uh, I, I wanted to do more things with Tomfo, so see me swap that out, I think, at some point. Here's that combo once again. 
showing you that I got my knowledge of what I can get away with. But yeah, there you go. There's some time for play. Do I do Storm of Strikes? Do I just do boring, like... I feel like I just do boring things with Tonfa. <laughs> Alright, let's see how I continue working with it. Like I said, I was trying to work with Feral Yoga Shift, but it just... I, I'm at 97% gauge. I was trying to get to 100 so badly, but I just kind of couldn't. Come on, Tonfa! Do Tonfa things! Mountain Breaker, no? Yeah, I'm with that up. Alright, Reflect. Yeah, I didn't get to do with Tonfa stuff as much as I'd like, but that's okay. I don't think you're gonna complain. And Severing Spin for a finish. Yeah, you're done. So yeah, hopefully that was informative. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. And of course, I will see you guys next time.